Hello, hello, my fellow travel adventurers. So I am sure at this point in time, you've gotten the point that Egypt was absolutely amazing. How many of you enjoy essential oils? I know I, I'm here for it. I try to be, you know, all natural as, you know, possible within reason. Um, so we went to this uh, place where they sold essential oils in Egypt. And Egypt is known for their essential oils. And when I tell you guys, when you finish watching this vlog, you're going to be in your fifis a little bit, okay? Because this woman breaks down what they do in America with these essential oils that will have you being like, wait what yeah y'all really trying to play me okay and then on top of that the great thing was so in addition to selling the essential oils there they make their own glass bottles for, to hold the oils and the perfumes as well as diffusers so we actually got to see a gentleman make it and it is just like when y'all see it, it is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoy all the great content that I'm bringing you from Egypt. I highly encourage that to be a place that is on your to-go list. If you have any questions, comments, put them in that comment section below, y'all. You can email me, you can DM me, whatever. I'm going to try to get back to you as quickly as possible. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe swipe button real quick please and thank you and yes please enjoy <laughs> Now I show you how my essence 100% you how you use it as aftershave. This is tap water, normal water. It smells least. No smell. No? I put just a sweet drop from papyrus in water and see where is the drop come to go up or go down. When I put essence in your skin, you feel it oily. But if it's oil, oil with water, what happened? It will be flopped. Mm -hmm. See where is the drop come to please? Oh, it went all the way to the bottom. Oh wow. It will remove our essence here free oil. You mm -hmm. feel it all in your skin because very, very concentrated. Mm. Other market wise they do, they take your essence, mix it with other stuff like paraffin or scented mm -hmm. oil. They make money from essence. They take a small amount of your essence, mix mm -hmm. it with a big amount of paraffin or scented mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. They make money. And they sell it for you under the name in your country, essential oil or is really essential. Mm -hmm. Essential oil in your home, when you use it in the bath, what happens? Go up. Mm -hmm. After you take shower, mm -hmm. you, you feel it in your skin, feel it oily. Because mm -hmm. your skin never accepted the chemical, never accepted natural, mm -hmm. except only natural stuff. Oh, cool. Your skin refused the, nat the synthetic oil. Wow. See? Yeah. The Egyptian way. The color of water changed. Mix it with water. Smell, please, now. Smell. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm, like Come on, Jojo. Your new. <laughs> you just saw your new aftershave, man. It's a flower. The same way, when you did an aftershave, healthy aftershave for the skin, no, allergic, no alcohol, chemicals, huh? Even use it in the bath oil, the perfumey oil your body. So yeah, we having a city high moment. <laughs> if, if you don't know what a city high moment is, what would you do? Gardenia. Because what, this nice lady right here is about to take all of our money. But we trying to figure out 
we take advantage of the good stuff that's here and spend all your money in one day, in a matter of hours, or do you just sample a okay, few? I think I'm ready, so. What would you do? If you weren't at home in this fabulous place with all of these essential oils, fabulous fragrances, some things that you can only get in Egypt, and you would be offered free gifts if you go ahead and drop $300. USD, let me make that clear. I don't think I'm going to put anything. What would you do? Because you know your social life is going to be that baby on the flow crying because it's going to be hungry, starving for attention. But you're going to be like, I spent $300. Tell them what would you do. We're in, in Egypt. We're in Egypt. And some of this stuff, baby Jesus had on. And this is natural, straight from these plants and trees that grow nowhere else. So that's why we're doing it. You're right. <laughs> we have to find Jesus oil and pray to the Egypt. Jesus, Jesus. Help us. Lord bless us. Right. Man, I'm, I'm going to ask for a special blessing at the now <laughs>